Peace to everybody back with another video. This is Michael Jackson accuser can now sue for sexual abuse. Well, first of all, Wade Robson and James Sivchuk, they're both compulsive liars. They admitted it. Michael Jackson never touched any of them at all. So this was all a lie to get the money from the Jackson estate. And um, Wade Robson and James Sivchuk are not going to win this um, lawsuit, even though now they can now sue for sexual abuse, but they have no proof of anything of what Michael Jackson has done. Michael Jackson has been acquitted of sexual abuse. Um, Wade Robson told the truth the first time that he, that Michael Jackson never did anything to him. And then after Michael Jackson had passed away in 2009, year, and then years later, Wade Robson comes out and say, oh, well, Michael did this, Michael did that. And then it triggered James Safechuck. And now they both lied on Michael, saying, oh, well, he did this to us and that. No, not true at all. And here is a picture of Michael Jackson himself. Thanks to a new law, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, two men who have accused Michael Jackson of sexually abusing them when they were children, will get their chance to sue two corporate entities tied to the Jackson estate. Well, guess what? They're not going to get nothing out of the Jackson estate because the Jackson estate is not going to pay them anything. And, um... Michael Jackson is not here to defend himself, so we are his voices right now. And we must keep moving forward to expose the lies of Wade Robson and James Safechuck. And, they are, and it also says, thanks to a new law, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, two men who have accused Michael Jackson of sexually abusing them when they were children will get the chance to sue corporate entities tied to the Jackson estate. Now, what two entities are they talking about? What are they talking about? Nobody even cares about them, really. Um, he, um, Michael Jackson loved women. He, he was not the type of person to be going after little kids at all. He wasn't. They lied continuously, and they're still lying now. And you know what? I'm surprised nobody's even putting these two men in jail. On January 1st, a new California law went into effect that allows victims of childhood sexual abuse under the age of 40, up from 26, to file civil lawsuits. The new law also extended the statute of limitations on a provision that stated victims could sue a third-party entities tied to the alleged abuser that either knew or should have known that abuse was happening or failed to take responsible steps to prevent the abuse. Well, who cares about the law? I don't care about the new California law because it's all fake. I don't care that it went into effect. Who cares? They should have never lied in the first place. Um, and this is their allegedly victims of the childhood sexual abuse under the age of 40 up from 26 to file civil lawsuits. Well, they could file them all they want. They're not going to get no money out of them, out of the Jackson estate. And who cares what they try to do to, um, to sue the third-party entities, because they're not going to give them one red penny. They're going to lose the lawsuit, literally. Then, then they says that, that abuse was happening or failed to take responsible steps to prevent the abuse. Uh, what abuse? Wade Robson and James Safechuck were never abused by Michael Jackson. They lied. They're compulsive liars. The HBO documentary series Leaving, Leaving Neverland should have never got that um, 
nomination for it at all. It was all a lie. James Reed also edited the tapes. It was all one-sided. The corporations do not dispute these revisions applied to plaintiffs. Non-fatal cases still pending on appeal, rendering their claims timely. The running, I mean, the rulings read, we agree and find their dispute under the per previous statutory provisions to be moot. Well, you know what? The judge is not going to believe them. The prosecutors are not going to believe them. The DA, they could believe them all they want, but, cause you, but you know what? The DA is going to lose no matter what. This California law is nothing but a sham. That's all it is. I mean, when are people going to learn to start fighting back against Wade Robson and James Safechuck? Why are people scared of them? Because he, they're going to accuse them of sexual abuse next? Is that what they're going to do? People need to fight back against those two and stand up to them and say, look, Michael never did this to you guys at all. Given this new law on Friday, a California appeals court overturned a 2017 ruling that stated Robson and Safechuck couldn't sue MJJ Productions Incorporated or MJJ Ventures Incorporated because the suits hadn't been filed within the statute of limitations and because neither entity could be held liable for Jackson's alleged actions. Well, let's see. The police took a whole lot of pictures. Couldn't find nothing on Michael Jackson. Couldn't find nothing. Michael even came out and said himself, these are all false allegations against him. He even said that the police took pictures of his private part area. Um, also pictures of his buttocks and everything. They could not find nothing. So was Wade Robson and James Safechuck lying still saying, oh, well, he did this and did that? No, not true. It was all a scam between what's between Wade Robson and James Safechuck. They think they're going to get away with it, but they're not going to. Because, you know, somebody is going to stand up to them. And, you know what, and hopefully somebody will put them in jail for good for lying. Because, you know, they can't keep getting away with this. Vince Finn uh, Aldi, a lawyer for Robson and Safechuck, tells Rolling Stone, we're pleased the appellate court has affirmed the strong protections that California has for sexual abuse victims and recognized the extended statute of limitations that it provides. Uh, still, it's all a lie. Ain't nobody going to believe them. Robson and Safechuck are liars. Nobody is going to believe them. Vince Finn Finadai, I don't know, something like that. Um, he's a lawyer for Robson and um, Safechuck. He told Rolling Stone, "We're pleased that we're pleased that appellate court has affirmed the strong protections that California has for sexual abuse victims." What victims? They were never victims of Michael Jackson. Never. It all was a lie. How can Wade Robson and James Safechuck be victims? I do not understand. If Michael Jackson never did anything to them, didn't they think to look at their parents for sexual abuse? Hmm, think about that one. Didn't Wade Robson probably or allegedly got sexual abuse from his father, maybe? What about James Safechuck? 
What about his family? Didn't something happen in that family as well? And when they couldn't speak out against their family, they had to blame Michael Jackson after he passed away. They both lied under oath of perjury. When you tell the truth about something, you do not go against the under oath thing. But they perjured themselves big time by lying. In a statement shared with Rolling Stone, Howard Weisman, the lawyer for the Jackson estate, reiterated that the estate itself is still exempt from any legal proceedings. As for the new ruling, he said, the Court of Appeals ruling merely revived lawsuits against Michael Jackson's companies, which absurdly claim that Michael's employees are somehow responsible for sexual abuse that never happened. Ah, now the truth is somewhere. It never happened, the sexual abuse. They lied the whole time, and now you got the lawyer for the Jackson's estate um, saying that it's um, the Court of Appeals really merely revived lawsuits against Michael Jackson's companies, which absurdly claim that Michael's employees are somehow responsible for sexual abuse that never happened. It never happened. People were, there was lots of people there in Michael's house. There are a bunch of employees there at Michael's house. There was nothing going on with with Wade Robson, James Safechuck, and Michael Jackson. Nothing happened. It was all a setup just to get the money because that's what it was all about. They got mad because both of them couldn't get a job at all. So they decided, oh, well, we're going to blame Michael Jackson for his sexual abuse. Blame him all you want. You ain't going to find nothing. Michael Jackson was acquitted of sexual abuse. And the judge is going to keep being, is, the judge is going to keep believing the Jackson estate. No matter what. The ruling was the result of a change in the law signed by Governor Newsom that extends the time for genuine victims to file claims the Court of Appeals specifically did not address the truth of these false allegations and we are confident that both lawsuits will be dismissed and that Michael Jackson will be vindicated once again. And yes, I do want Michael Jackson to be vindicated again. He is innocent. He never did nothing wrong. And once the judge figures out those two were lying, the judge is just going to throw out the, um, the lawsuit totally. The judge is not going to believe these false allegations. Who's going to believe any of that? Nobody. Only the Jacksons know what happened, and they were there. Wade Robson and James Safechuck are not going to keep going after the Jackson estate too much longer because once those two are out of the way, I think somebody needs to sue them and put them in jail and see how they like it. Robson and Safechuck detailed their accusations against Jackson on the HBO documentary, Leaving Neverland. Although their legal battle with the Jackson estate began when they filed their first lawsuits in 2013. Mm-hmm. Two years later, however, the Jackson estate was bumped from the suit, leaving MJJ Productions Incorporated and MJJ Ventures Incorporated as defendants. Then in 2017, a judge dismissed those suits under the old law governing the statute of limitations in regards of childhood sexual abuse cases. So, allegedly, Robson and Jace 
Safe Talk have detailed their accusations against Jackson in the HBO documentary, Leaving Neverland. Now, the Jacksons told HBO, do not air the documentary. But HBO went against the Jacksons' estate wishes and aired it anyway. And also it says, although their legal battle with the Jackson estate began when they filed their first lawsuits in 2013. So they did this after Michael Jackson had passed away. Then two years later, however, the Jackson estate was bumped from the suit, leaving MJJ Productions Incorporated and MJJ Ventures Inc. as defendants. So now the Jackson's estate are defendants. And while James Safechuck and um, Wade Robson are playing victims, they're not victims. No, they're not. They lied and lied and lied and said, well, Michael Jackson touched me here. He touched me here and that. No, never happened. It never happened. <laughs> The Jackson estate and Jackson's family have repeatedly rebuffed Robson and, Jeff Sa or Robson and Safe Chuck's allegations throughout the legal battle and leading up to the premiere of Leaving Neverland. For instance, they've highlighted on numerous occasions that Robson testified that Jackson never, let me repeat that word again, never molested him at the pop star's 2005 criminal trial and that safe truck similarly told authorities that jackson never let me repeat that word again never abused him so robson told the truth the first time that michael jackson never molested him that was the whole truth right there. But as soon as Michael passed away, the story changed. And he, and he decided, well, I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to get some money out of them one way or the other. Well, guess what? They, he could try all he want. They still not going to pay him. Because once you lie under oath, or per, under oath, then you're perjuring yourself. That's what you're doing. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Robson addressed the ostensible contradictions in his story and Safe Chuck's their past support for Jackson and the reason it took them both so long to personally come to grips with the abuse they allegedly suffered and then come forward with it. Alright, so if they were supposedly been abused. Why didn't they make a police report in the first place? Wouldn't you think something's a little fishy about it? This is why nobody cares about what Wade Robson is safe chip safe chip because they lied. And they said, well, Michael did this and Michael did that. No. The truth is coming out now that Michael Jackson is innocent. He never did anything wrong to them at all. Then they, and of course they're going to say, oh, well, they suffered. Suffered from what? What did they suffer from? There was no abuse. All the, all the, all of the allegations are false. Michael Jackson was acquitted, no matter what. They could keep trying to get money out of him, but they're not going to get one red cent, obviously. They're not going to get one red cent out of the Jackson estate because the Jackson estate is not going to pay them. I don't. They're not going to care what the judge says. The Jackson estate has all the evidence to prove that Michael never did any of this stuff. 
This is one of the things they keep doing, he said, of the Jackson estate, taking one tiny piece and taking it out of context and using it as some sort of excuse or accusation. And there's a whole truth and story behind each one of these tiny things that when you take the time to understand all the complexity and all of the conflicting feelings, all the years that James and I defended Michael, is all part of how it goes down with the love that's all inter intertwined with the abuse. You know, so the judge, I mean, not the judge, I'm sorry, wrong person. The lawyer for the Jackson has said, this is one of the things they keep doing, he said, of the Jackson estate. They have been taking one tiny piece and taking it out of context. So that's what the... What Ray Robson and James Safechuck did, they took it out of context. And this is why they did it for their own personal gain. And they said, I said well, we're, we're going to take this out of context. And we're going to tell people, oh, Michael sexually abused us. Huh? Really now? If that was a so-called truth, which is not, why didn't they file the police report? Where is the police report. I want to see it. But since those two can't prove nothing, they have nothing to prove at all. Michael Jackson had everything to prove when he was alive. He said, oh, well, yep. And people are judging Michael Jackson too quickly. And he even says, please do not condemn me at all. And he's right. Michael Jackson is right. Do not condemn me. Because nobody knows what happened. They don't, people that are saying bad things about Michael Jackson, they don't know what happened. They don't know nothing. These people want to believe Wade Robson and James Safechuck, then they're stuck and stupid, as like they are. The Jackson estate has every single evidence that you could think of, from top to bottom, no matter what. So how are they gonna? How are they gonna act in court? They're gonna act like fools. That's what they're gonna do. They're going to act like fools. They're going to make a mistake and say, oh, well, Michael did this and Michael did Nope. Judge is not going to believe them. Judge is going to throw out the lawsuit and say, hey, guess what? You know what? You two are lying. Boom. And those two should go to jail for a very long time for lying. Who cares if they have a family of their own? Nobody cares. The, the wives of Wade Robson and James Safechuck, they don't, they could do better without them, for real. They could take their their little ones, I can't say the word I want to say, and they could leave them. Simple as that. I know if, I know if, let's say, for example, I was married to somebody, and um, that person, we'll just call him John Doe, how about that? John Doe would come out and say, well, somebody sexually abused me, this and that. And um, John Doe came back to me and said, well, this person did this and that. I wouldn't believe anything they say. I would take the little, my little one and I would leave real quick because there are so many allegations that are not true. And, that, and the truth needs to be told. And um, so this is why Wade Robson and James Seachuck think they're so smart, but they're not that smart. They're just playing victim, thinking, oh, well, he, no, no. People are standing up for Michael Jackson. And I believe in my heart that Michael Jackson is innocent because he never did nothing wrong to anybody. And once Michael Jackson gets vindicated again, then Wade Robson and James Safechuck will have no choice but to shut their trap and go sit somewhere in a corner 
crying their little eyes out. Oh, and I know they're, and once they do that, they're going to cry, oh, we didn't get no money. Well, who cares? You guys should have got a job. But you couldn't get it at the Jackson Estates, I'll tell you that much. And Michael Jackson sure didn't want them. So who cares what they think? But Michael Jackson is innocent, and he will always be innocent forever. And he is loved by millions of people, even in death as well. It's sad some of the radio stations took his music off because of all these fake allegations that were not true. But once this is over, then hopefully the radio stations that took Michael Jackson's music off will play them again. I just pray that this will be over soon. Leave your comments below. I am out.